Hi guys, welcome to day 13 of my daily challenge, which is to train and learn every day. Uh, today is Saturday the 15th of January 2022, and the training session for today, it's been an early morning uh, rowing session so far, and about an 8k run to go now, um, which I'm just about to start. So um, the lesson for today is, um, it's come in by request actually, um, and it's a, it's a very good one. Um, it's something that needs to be expanded on a little bit because it's such a um, it's a great topic. It's about resilience and what is resilience and how do we build resilience. Um, so when I was uh, when I was at the tactical response group, I know we we used to go through a lot of incidents and you know you'd you'd work your way through it in good ways and bad. But we always had a psych come along on our recruiting courses for our selection courses and things like that. Um, mainly looking at the new recruits and trying to determine whether they could, uh, whether they were going to fit in or whether it was going to work for them or not. Um, but I remember one day he, he was talking to all the operators who were already at TRG and he said, all right, so what, what do you guys think is resilience? And everyone gave the answers that you kind of expect. Uh, so on an individual basis, an ability, ability to deal with stressful situations or to move on from uh, you know intense situations and 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 keep performing at your normal levels, things like that. Um, and then he he listened to a few of the answers, and then he came back and said, "All right, so here's what I think it is." And he he'd done a lot of research and spoken to a lot of people about it in the past. He said resilience is directly related to your connections, your close group of family and friends. So if you have a if you have a close knit group around you, then your resilience levels are high. If you don't have a close knit group that you can talk to easily, then your resilience levels are low. Um, and absolutely rang a bell with me and, and no doubt a lot of people in the room that he's 100% right. So, um, you know, if we ever, when he, as soon as he said that, you think back to any high risk incidents or anything that happens in the policing world, let alone the tactical response world. and. It's, uh, the immediate coping mechanism is for a group of guys, teammates to get together and talk about it and have a chat and, and have a laugh. A um, bit of humour doesn't hurt to get you through things, but um, it's really that connection and being able to talk to people about it and that made a huge difference. So um, when you add that to the, the individual factors that have been, uh, there's been a bit of research on what, what helps individually as far as resilience goes, uh, there's things like um, empathy is one, so being able to look at it from another person's perspective, you know, whatever the traumatic incident may be or the, the intense incident. Um, gratitude is another one, so having the gratitude to, even though you've seen the bad, um, to be able to stop and look at the, be thankful for the, the good parts of whatever it may be, another way of looking at it. Um, and also another one is understanding. So which I think is also very important. So having an understanding that you're going to be going through things or you're going to feel things is not just unusual and you're not the only one and, you know, it's just what's wrong with me kind of thing. It's understand that you, if you go through these um, instances or you see things that you've never seen before or or you're not, um, you know, un very unpleasant things, then have an understanding that, yeah, this is, this is going to happen. I'm going to have um, feelings about it and I'm just going to run through it and, you know, the best bet... The best thing I can do is talk to people, like we said before, get get together with someone I feel like I can talk to and have a chat to them about it. Um, I guarantee if you start if you start talking to that person and you're opening up about whatever it may be, um, that you'll be surprised how much they open up to you as well. Even if you're in one of these areas that don't normally um, talk about their feelings or open up naturally, I think you'll find. Uh, people are more than willing to open up once someone starts to so, starts the ball rolling. So that's the lesson for today. So it's about uh, resilience and things that are really going to help build resilience. And and like I say, it was um, a subject by request. And I think it's a really good one to to think about um, ways to cope and deal with things. And there's definitely better ways than others. So that's it for today, and I'll see you tomorrow.